What's going on guys? Matty O'Daddy o Mining here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful 4th of July for those of us in the uh, in the United States. So, uh, there's a new coin that I found out about um, a couple weeks ago, but uh, hadn't really jumped around to it until now. It's called Nurai, I believe. I'm probably butchering the name. Uh, but yeah, Nurai uh, XNA. And it actually looks like it is a profitable coin to be mining. Now this is at my my ele my current electrical cost, which is ten cents per kilowatt hour. So let's go here to uh, hashrate.no, and you know, of course we got you know good old Peppy B, Peppy Pal right here. But uh, yeah, here we are in second place. Um, Narai was actually in first place not too long ago, so everything is kind of jumping around a little bit, but. Uh, we're on a, a 6600 XT right now, and profit-wise, we're looking at uh, 12 cents a day. So, I mean, that's not a lot, but I mean, you know, considering if you look at, you know, everything else, you know, what's, what's big in the news right now, you know, I mean, you got Dynex, which I think is kind of still being talked about. Uh, six seven cents for uh, profit there. Uh, let's see. Where's Caspa? There's okay. So we're losing a penny. Flux losing a penny. Ironfish losing a penny. I mean, nothing is is really prof uh, profitable. So you know, I figured, why not? Let's let's make a video and let's. Let's take a look and see what we can do with it. Okay, so let's go to the uh, the website for their uh, their wallet, and I will, of course, leave the uh, links down in the description below. <clears throat> and this is their page. Let's go to wallets. And download for Windows. Now let's create a folder that we can drop this into. Okay, now we want to set it up so that our our uh, antivirus is not going to screw with it. Ah. Uh, There we go. Okay, virus and threat protection. Uh, manage settings. Add and remove exclusions, yes. Add an exclusion, let's do a folder. And let's do it, uh, the one we just created on the desktop. There we go, all set. Now what we wanna do is extract that zip file to that folder that we just created. And extract all. Let's browse. And away we go. All right, here we are. Let's launch this guy and see what's going on. Yes. So we're going to want to use a custom directory, and we will point it to the folder that we just created. Okay, let's create a new wallet using a set of 12, 12 seed words. Accept. Okay, and then I will edit this out. Generate some seed words. Uh, 
Okay. Allow access. And now it's going to have to sync with the blockchain, so I will I'll be right back with you guys when that is done. And we are back and all synced to the blockchain. So the uh, the core wallet opened up after that. So the first thing that we want to do before we start our mining is we want to take note of our wallet address. So you can go to receive. I'll slap all, any old label in it. Let's just say mining, if I can spell right. Not that it really matters. And request payment. Copy address. And then paste it into a place where you will not lose it. And back on my other computer. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to check out Narai on Mining Pool Stats. So most of the traffic right now is on our plant. So you know what, let's, let's just choose that one. Why the hell not? Let's see here. Connect. So we'll be using BZ Miner. I mean, really, we just need. Actually, it really doesn't matter right there. SSL we need because we want to pool mine. So this is what we need right here. We're going to copy this stratum. And we will paste it into the notepad where our pool address is at. Okay. Easy peasy. Now, next thing we need to do is bring up Hive OS. <clears throat> right now I'm test mining Nexa on my 5600 and 6600 XT rig. I think it's up and running. We'll just use that one. Oop, I lost a guy. Okay. Let's see. First thing we're going to do is we're going to stop mining. Okay, just verified mining is stopped. Good. So next thing I want to do is I'm just going to blow away all these overclocks. That way we can start off with everything running and nothing crashes from uh, too crazy of overclocks. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a wallet. Wallet, wallet, wallet. Add a wallet. Okay, address. Sorry guys, doing this one handed. Okay, create wallet. There we go. There she is at the bottom. So the next thing we want to do is create a flight sheet. If I could spell. There we go. The wallet is the one we just created. The pool we will configure in the miner. So the miner we want to use is BZ miner. I think that was on their list of suggested. Yep. So we'll just use BZ Miner. <clears throat> okay. Set up in uh, config. Kapow is what we want. Uh, template. There we go. Worker name. Yeah. Okay. 
Oops, come on. So our pool that we want to go to, we're going to paste in what we want. Okay, that should be really it. Create flight sheet. Nope, oh, except I forgot to name it because I'm an idiot. Let me edit that. There we go, update. Okay. So let me go back to workers and let me send this off. And we'll see what happens. Okay, it's got to do an update. <clears throat> there we go, that's better. Just gave her a quick reboot and looks like we're generating the DAGs and hopefully we'll be up here mining momentarily. Oh, there we go. Solutions found. Excellent. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to go to hashrate.no and I just want to double check and see... Uh, what kind of overclocks they got for these and see if, if you know, 4.2 mega hash is accurate. Because, I mean, I got, I don't know. I mean, 6,600, I think, would be doing better than a 5,600. And a 5,700, you would think, would be doing a little bit better than a 6,600. But, yeah, I don't know. So let's let's check that out real quick. Yeah, so we should be getting about 17 mega hash at 67 watts. So let's, let me see if I can do these overclocks real quick. And I will be right back with you. Okay, I think I found a resolution to my issues. The first one was the hash rate. So according to hashrate.no, I was supposed to be getting 17 mega hash on a 6600 XT which I believe I am now getting or pretty damn close to it. So 16, 15, 15, 17, 17. These are all, and I, I, on all these down here, I mean, I have no overclocks on them yet, so I'll, I'll tweak them further and see what the hell we can find. But I mean, before on, I was getting, I, I was getting, I think like what, four or five mega hash before and that was on BZ Miner. So the, the thing I did, I, I switched to Team Red Miner since I'm running all AMD cards. So that's that first part is good. The next issue that I was having was my rig was not showing up in the mining pool. So I was on our plant, and my worker was, it was not here. So um, the mistake I made was when I went to connect... I forgot to uncheck use SSL. I, I thought this was just for pool mining since this one said solo, but I needed to uncheck it and it gave me the correct address. So I paste that into my flight sheet and now I am showing up right there. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do then is I need to play with uh, some of these settings because yeah, 1,100 watts, That's that ain't going to do it. Okay. And did some tweaks on the overclocks. And I think this is probably the best that I'm going to get it. I mean, the the ones here that are in the 10s. And this guy, I don't know what the hell is going on with this guy. But 
these guys that were in the tens, um, they were about 17, 15, 16, 17, somewhere in there. But the power was just, it was, it was just too much power. I mean, I was, I was sitting at over, I think over 1100 Watts. And that's just more personally than I would like to spend right now. Um, I tweaked the settings and I got it down to about 900 watts, but still it's a little more than I would like to spend right now, like I said. So whatever, we'll, we'll run with this a little bit. This is really just a test mine anyway. So I think I'll let this run for the next 24 hours and we'll see where we are at. So I will talk to you guys later. Everybody have a good night.